Hey friends. Good evening. A little early tonight for us. We are a little early tonight. We're going to try to go on a date. We try to have Tuesday night as our date night. So how is everybody? We're going to wait until we get some people here. Hey, Rita. Rita, can you hit the like button there. and the hearts? Wow. Thank you, guys. Yes. Hey, everybody. Hey, Hi, Joyce. Joyce. Love you. Mwah, 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 mwah. Joyce is a sweet, sweet friend. Hey, Regina and Jimmy. So glad you guys are here. How's everybody doing tonight? We hope you're doing great. We are, there is a storm brewing. Yeah, it's kind of blowing in right now. Yeah. I'm going to take you guys, while we're getting everybody to come on, before we start showing you guys what happened today, it's so good. I'm going to let you guys see the storm out here that's starting to come. I'll see that rain. I like a good storm. Okay. That feels good, actually, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. It's cooled it down quite Ooh. a bit quickly. It's warm inside this house. So hi, Jill. Hi, Beverly. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Myra from West Virginia. Hello, Gail from North Carolina and Francis. Hi, Diane. You want me to hold that? All right, you? I got it. Because okay. I'm going to let you do the tour. Oh. I'm going to let right. you show everybody what's going on. So hopefully you can hear the mic as I get around here in front of the phone. Yeah. So I went to the office today and Angela and I worked on the microphone situation because she was like, what's going on with that? <laughs> so we tried to figure it out. So we hope it's working. Hey, Sharon. So glad you're here. Hey, Kathy and Christy. Um, Richard Annie Ledford. You know, I love your name. That's fun. From off Alabama. Hey there. Can Can Candace. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, all right, it is pouring down rain, and I'm loving that. But I'm going to let Daryl show you what happened here today because they made great progress with the drywall. So I'm going to turn the camera around so y'all can see Daryl. Okay, D. Okay. So it looks like they're about 99.9% .9 done. We've only seen like one piece that's not completed. But what they have done is they've gone through... And every one of these holes that they uh, that the insulators made, they cut uh, some drywall into a circle and they put it in there, preparatory for tomorrow to get uh, to get it patched up and get those holes filled in. So that's pretty much all that's in this front room. I'm going to show them. Like it was a lot of holes, you guys. So remember how Mike and Jeff. They came in and they just blew, they opened those little holes up and blew in insulation. And so the drywallers, like Daryl said, just cut a bunch of little circles out and they will be patching that up. I actually stopped by today and, um, I had to run and go get a truck key. I shared that story with you guys about finding that wood, that God wink. But I came in, I had to find the truck key for Juan and give that to him. And he, I haven't told Daryl this, but he was up on these big stilts. And I'll show you those stilts. And I was like, how's it going? And he said, this is really hard. <laughs> because it's just a lot of patchwork. So here's his stilts that he, I mean, and when they walk around on them, it's like they're second legs. Yeah, like, they're way up there. Yeah. So, okay, so here's the stilts, but anyway, it's just hard work because it's just a lot of patching that they had to do to try to put the old drywall with the new drywall and then right here there was some chair rail with some uh 
what do we call that? I want to say wrapping paper, but it's not wrapping paper. It is wallpaper. I can't think. So they're having to just kind of smooth things out. So he actually said it would be not until Friday before it would be done. So, all right. Do you want to take him in our room and let him see? Well, yeah, I, I think last night when we went through, it was pretty much done. They've done the same thing in here that they... Look at that rain coming down. And you can see where they ripped off that fabric that the insulators used that was hanging over. They oh, yeah. It all. Oh, yeah, that's right. We were, uh, we were shocked. We're going we're to give a call about uncovering the fireplace. Y'all remember our pretty fireplace that I cleaned out and we found? Well, they got a little drywall happy. They covered it up. So, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Not we'll be all. able to take that off. But yeah. we walked in here and we were a little surprised. But it's okay. It is. Things Just happen. A sharp knife and a couple of cuts, and it comes right out. So yeah, we're excited about that. Yeah. So this is—they've been drilling all of these little holes, and I'm sure they don't have to do this very often. But they're filling them in in here too. So this looks really rough, but. I can't wait to show you the end product. Like, it, you know, we know it's gonna get just better and better. They just have to mud it and let it dry and then come back. So, can't hear. You guys can't hear? We hope you can hear. Let us know, can you guys hear? Okay, D. you wanna Is carry it, on? Yeah. So hopefully, I mean, same thing here, a little bit more mud, a little bit more mud. They're just not done yet, which is understandable. Yeah. So there was a big hole there. So I think they're just, they mudded it and they'll come back and add more as it dries. So... Leanne said she can hear us both great. Wonderful. Yay. Do you guys, hear, do you feel like the microphones are working? We hope the microphones are working. Okay. What else we got? Uh, more mud and more holes. <laughs> yeah. So, I think, did, we think we're going to cover that fireplace right now. Right, you guys tell us what you think. We're, we think we might just cover that for right now while we get all the other projects done and then figure out what to do with this. Now that we know what's behind it, we do wanna have a fireplace there. We're just not exactly sure right now how to figure that out. And I know we will, We've y'all have, had some good suggestions too but we I don't know we might just have them cover that up and then we'll attack it in a little while next year <laughs> Daryl said next year okay so so we wish we had lights down here but we don't they've taken these lights out the bathroom it's uh all the tape is done on the seams. They just haven't done the corners. And they've got the, uh, the metal sheets ready to do that over in the corner. And I'm going tomorrow to talk with Florin Decor about some tile. And we're gonna see what we're gonna do there. I'll show you guys all of that. And this is kind of the room that I come into on occasion just to get a little 
it, it has the least amount of issues with it. <laughs> and so I'll come in here just to be like, it's gonna be all right. We got this figured out. So I'm sure when we come back tomorrow, a lot of the holes that you still kind of see are gonna be taken care of. So love those ceilings, the farm company. Okay, so let's talk about the farm company for just a minute. So I'm wearing the farm company hat. And so Kathy owns the farm company here in Columbiana. And her mother one time messaged me oh, yes. and said, my daughter owns the farm company in Columbiana, which is the cutest store ever. So today I was actually kind of just headed home and I just felt like I should just drop in the farm company and see who this owner was. And it was Kathy. And she, as soon as she saw me, she said, I know who you are. And so we had the best conversation. I love you, Kathy. Like I'm gonna share, we took a picture and so I'll share her information with you guys. But she has the cutest store downtown Columbiana. I hope sometime you guys will come to Columbiana and shop in these awesome, precious stores. And we'll take you guys on a tour of downtown um, soon and let you guys see what's there. And I, what I want to do is go in every shop and let you guys just see each shop individual. Individually, you will love it. Um, Main Street, Columbiana has just done so much work to get just, oh my gosh, the flowers and the way they work together has just been so much fun to see. All right, so again, the farm company, if you are in Columbiana, you totally need to come visit Kathy. All right, so I'm getting a little hot in here. Are you, Dee? I've been sweating <laughs> since we walked in. So. Okay, so I think what we'll do, should we, do you want to get our chairs and we'll go out on the front porch? Yeah, it looks like the major part of that storm has blown through. Yeah, so we're going to head out. Let's see. I'm sorry, y'all. Don't. Okay. You keep freezing up, Tammy says. Okay. How many bedrooms and bathrooms are in the house? So at the end, there will be, there will be three bathrooms. There's one upstairs and there's two. We added a bathroom and then we changed a bathroom around downstairs. Are you using green board in your bathroom? Yes, we will be. We are going to do that. Your home is getting baptized. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, let me show you guys how. It's just raining a little soft now, which I love. All right, oh my gosh, it feels so much better here. Um, you guys have come a long way. Hang in there, thank you, Heidi. We, again, we just have the best people that are working for us. And it's been such a blessing. And even though Paul is on vacation, he has been checking in. He's been communicating with these workers. He's a good guy. Yes, he is. All right. Debbie Cox says it's looking good. Nancy says it's gorgeous, Annie. So someone asked, what is green board? They were wondering about the green board that we would be adding in the bathroom. It, it's uh, it's kind of like anti-water, anti-mold, anti-anything. It's a, it's just a, uh, it's what you put tile on, on the back of a shower. So you put it first and then you can put the tile over it. You either use the green board or you use a cement type board. And, and Paul is a, a big fan of the cement board. So that's probably what we'll be using. Mm -hmm. um, I know in the, uh, the house that we had here on Main that I did a, redid a shower, I used the, uh, I use the green board. Right. And, uh, anyway, it works just, they, they work the same. Yep, so that's why you have to have that because you're, you wanna attach that tile mm -hmm. to something that is waterproof and that isn't gonna let the water seep through. So you wouldn't put regular drywall there. Are you changing all the windows out before painting inside? No, we are, well, let's see, we've got, the kitchen window that we're changing out. 
We have this window right here that we are really hoping to take out. But other than that, we're not really changing out any of the windows. They are the original 100 year old windows that, and you can tell that they're original because they have, and I don't know if they'll show up on the camera, but sometimes you can see like little like waves in the glass. Let me see if I can show you that. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Some windows you can see better than others, but I will be, you know, just taking and cleaning this up right here. Just needs a little cleaning. Okay. Um, do you guys enjoy these updates? We're kind of loving it too. We love being able to share with you guys what's going on. Um, let's see. Janet says, thanks for the updates. Excited for you. Love the update. Can't wait to see it done. Every day, it's making such great progress. Um, okay, so about packing. You guys, some of y'all are asking about packing. I really do think we're going to do the pod. I think we're going to do the pod. My mom sent me a message, and she reminded me that they had done a pod before, and she said it was great. Um, let's see. What was the purpose of the slats? What was the purpose of the slats, Daryl, when they were building this old house? Oh, that's that's original. That that goes back to 1920 when they used to plaster over the, the that slat would hold the plaster. They had little gaps between each board, and the plaster would work into those gaps, and that would hold it. Uh, rather than drywall, which they didn't have drywall in 1920. Um, it was just a, a way of holding the, the plaster in the, in the room. And when it dries out and when it gets old, it comes down and we have cleared out <laughs> so much of it. Yeah, it's like getting all that plaster or whatever has turned into like little tiny bit, itty bitty rocks. Rocks, so we've dust done, and, and just all kinds yeah. of fun things. Yeah. <laughs> I would put something besides tile on the bath. It is so hard to keep clean. I'm having mine taken out tomorrow. Oh, really? Okay. I really honestly didn't even realize that there was another option other than tile. I guess what? Like a fiberglass pack. Oh, that's true. You know, that's true. Do something like that. That's true. Um, yeah. Lathe, lathe and, and plaster. plaster. Thank Try you, Tammy. Tammy. It's hard to believe that 100-year-old windows never got broken. I know, right? So, these are in pretty good shape. They are. Have you seen a broken window in this house? I have not. Yeah, I haven't either. Um, I had to use a pod before, and it was nice. That's just what we're thinking. We think there's going to be a couple of weeks where we're not going to be able to actually live in the downstairs part of our house. Just because of the paint, the trim, and the floors that need to get redone. Um, I dream of slats in my dreams at night. Tubs surround. Okay. You have a beautiful home. Now, why move and work on an old home? <laughs> That's a really good question. Yeah. <laughs> we do have a pretty... We love our house. We really do. Um... But we have just noticed in the last couple of years, our neighborhood is really changing. Um, and we just know that this was the best time for us to sell in our neighborhood and be able to just... Move back to Columbiana where we wanted to be. Yeah. You know, we, we lived here for 20 years and we, did, we have wanted to get back. And uh, we love being on Main Street. Mm -hmm. And we love the people here. We have so many wonderful friendships that uh, that we missed. You know, believe it or not, we're only ten miles down the road, but it's just a it's just a different way traffic flows. You don't come to Columbiana unless you live in Columbiana or or an attorney for the state right. and go to the courthouse. It's it's really um, or you're headed to the lake. Yeah, you you travel through yeah. Columbiana going yeah. to the lake. So. So Denise says, do you think this is your forever home? I think that we're gonna be here for a very long time. I've learned to um, never say never. Um, 
we have children that live in other states and I think that we're going to be here for as long as God wants us to be here and we're going to love this house and um, you know I, I hope we're going to be here forever but I don't know that that's a promise um, if all of our kids end up in different places we might just sell this house and get a camper get a camper and hit the road <laughs> go travel. knock on the door of our children's house and say we're here to stay for a little while until we decide yeah. to go to our other child's house yeah so. no but we we do love this town and I, we do feel like we're at home and i i wish i should have been taking pictures of all of the sweet people that have just come by to say we're so glad you're moving back um anyway it's been really really fun we've missed we have missed them why did you leave columbiana the first time we actually so the truth is is daryl wanted to um we wanted to open a marco's pizza store and so we sold our house um on main street down the road and we built our house and then um, as soon as we moved into our house, a week later, two weeks later, later. Daryl had a stroke. And so it was really a blessing because we lived in a house that Daryl did not have to maintain at all and I could take care of. And then he recovered and we did Marco's Pizza for about three years. And, um, you know, looking back we can see where you know god was in all the details of that every move and then we had the opportunity to sell marco's marco's was a great experience if you guys have never had marco's pizza it's delicious and amazing but very stressful and you know daryl always wanted to do that and we did it and i'm i'm proud of what we did we were the number one store south of huntsville so there was a couple of stores in huntsville that you know that did a little bit better than us but we we were so involved in the community up there in trustville um in any aspect in any way we could be the elementary schools and the in the um the chamber of commerce and any activities that they had parades we were in the parade we have a we had a chef marco costume. mascot costume <laughs> that we would we went to one of the local dealerships and, and uh, worked out the ability to use one of their trucks and, and put Marco in the back and he was waving and we threw candy out. Anyway, we were just really, Very involved. really involved. I may, have, um, I may have been Chef Marco one time and ran in a 5K race. <laughs> Actually, it was. I don't think it you ended up being, It ended up being a one mile. Was it one mile? It, it was. Oh. It was the one mile and as soon as... I mean, I'm wearing the hat. I mean, anyway, the full thing. And as soon as I started, I realized I should not have done that. But I ran that whole thing. I used to own a pizza store, so much work. Yes, Vicki, it, it is. It is. And anyway, we, Daryl worked really, really hard. It was an amazing store and I'll brag on him. It was a million dollar store and it was incredible. But he worked really, really hard. We both worked hard in there, and um, and then we just realized it wasn't good for his health, and we decided to sell it. We negotiated with our area directors. They came. We came up with a price. We sat down, signed the papers, exchanged the exchanged the money. A week later, COVID broke. So, uh, God was in the details. He was really in the details. So. And the store, and thankfully the store did really well. It did fine after that. Oh yeah, they had a great year the, or two after. Yeah, they did great. But it, we just could tell it was our time not to do that anymore. And then Daryl took a little time off and now he's back in IT and he works for Blue Cross, Blue Shield. So um, y'all own the one in Trustville. Let's see, somebody said. We did. We didn't live there, though. We lived in Calera. Right. And, uh, I, I commuted every day. Right. <laughs> every day. Okay, those asking about Annie's teeth, I didn't see that. Go to the search on this page and type in white teeth. You'll see her video. 
Y'all are so funny about these little teeth. Okay, so I'll just tell you guys really quick what I do. Probably twice a year, I use the Walmart brand whitening strips. But every day, I brush my teeth with the Crest Brilliance Toothpaste. That's what it's called. Um, and so in the morning, I brush my teeth twice. So I brush them once, and then I rinse out my mouth, and then I brush them again. And then at night, before I go to bed, I brush my teeth once, rinse it out, brush it again, and um, that's how I have these white teeth. But they were not always white. They were kind of a, like everybody else's teeth. They had a little bit of a yellow tinge to them. But anyway, I've just used that, that toothpaste. Again, it's the Crest Brilliance and about twice a year, I use the Walmart whitening strips. So, so anyway. somebody asked, when did you start your, did you start the schoolwork after we started the pizza place? Okay. She's been doing the schoolwork for about 25, 26 years. Yeah. And we had the pizza store about three years ago. Yeah. So now she. Yeah, so Miss Annie school, when I dress in my costumes and I go to the schools, I have, I've been doing it 25, I think it's really about 27 or 28 years. Probably. And it's so funny because now there are school teachers. I, anyway, I taught them when they were in kindergarten and they're like second grade teachers and third grade teachers. And they're like, I remember you, Miss Annie. So that, that job has been so much fun to be Miss Annie in the schools. So, um. Hello, Canada. Yeah, hey, Melba. That's a fun name. I love that. All right. So April says she came in late, so you owned a pizza place. We did for three years. Yeah, it was kind of like a, you know, you, you have an itch and you need to scratch it. And, and I always wanted to own my own franchise. And I actually, it's a long story. I actually, we have several friends that own Subways. And that's how I started my research into my own franchise was possibly getting into Subway. And, uh, Honestly, I, I contacted the guy in Tallahassee. He had three of them for sale. And he said, hey, I'm out. These are the last three I have. Let me tell you what I'm in now. And it was Marco's. And from there, I was like, okay, let's do that. <laughs> we went to Toledo and saw their little demonstration. And, and uh, we're like, okay, we tasted the pizza. And the pizza is just absolutely great when it comes to like fast food pizza hut Domino's, papa john's little caesars it, it, they don't compare to how good that is so yeah. anyway so the other part of that that i'll just say is you know after daryl's stroke we kind of knew that we wanted to do the pizza store before but after his stroke i was determined that if he survived there was a couple of things that we were going to do Daryl had stopped fishing and hadn't fished really for years and years. He would drive this little truck to this little car to work. And I knew how much he wanted this pizza place. So I thought if he can survive the stroke and recovered, recover, we're going to get him a truck and he's going to go fishing. And if we can open the Marco's pizza, then we will. So we did all of those things. And when it was time for it to be over, it was time for it to be over. So that's... It was a wonderful experience. I truly enjoyed it. And actually, mm -hmm. you know, people ask me, do you, do you miss it? Yeah, there are days that I miss that, that physical labor and being involved in the community and, and, and the interactions that took place. But you know what? I'm back in IT, <laughs> been there for 20 something years. I'm good. Yeah, there's, yeah. Um, do you think your kids would ever want to move back. So we have a daughter that lives about 10 miles, 10 or 15 minutes from here, I guess we should probably say. And she's so happy that we live in Columbiana um, or that we're gonna be moving back. Um, our daughter, Shannon, her husband is in the military, so they don't really have a choice where they get to live. And then we have a daughter, our daughter Madison lives in Utah. And they just really love being able to do you know, like to ski and they love all the sports and they're really, so 
we will probably always go visit them out there and we don't mind that at all. So, um, it's absolutely beautiful out there. It is beautiful out there. So I saw somebody make a comment about my name, about Annie. So my real name is Annette and I've never been called Annette. I've always been called Annie. Um, Annette Irene is my grown up name, is what I always say. Hi, Deb. So, hey, Daryl's sister is on. Hi. We're so glad that you're here. So sweet. Um, Rita is saying hi from Florida. And I was born in Florida. I was born in Winter Garden, Florida. Daryl was born actually in California. Um, Barbara says she wants, she wants to know how old we are. Barbara, how old do you think we are? Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. <laughs> No, I'm 57 and Daryl is 64. Yeah, I'm 57 and Daryl's 64. Um, Teresa says it will be a lot of fun to decorate for the holidays. Yes, yes. it's going to be beautiful. Yes. Um, many years ago, one of the fun things that Columbiana does, I feel like we're not together, D. Um, change the angle. Much. So Columbiana always has a Christmas tour of homes and many so they choose four or five different homes and then you buy a ticket and you can go to those homes and so years ago on our old main street house we were part of that tour and so i was talking with kathy at the farm company today and i told her that i we would love to be on the tour if they would if they wanted us to be on the tour this year so we'll see what they say about that but that i think that would be Really fun. I know I know what to do with magnolia leaves. I, well, and y'all have seen me do that. You know, the magnolia and the cedar. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I'll be doing over here. And I think it will be pretty. So, Roberta says y'all look a lot younger. Roberta, you're sweet. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> um, I always say it's a lot of oil of Olay. I use a lot of oil of Olay on my face. Um, love seeing old become new again. You know what? That's what we've been trying to do on this house is just try to take it back to as original as we can. And so that's what we're, that's what we're doing. Tammy says, keeping young and active. We do try to, we do try to stay active and I mean... And Edna said it was her favorite part of the day. Thank oh, you, Edna. That's, that's so very sweet. sweet. Very kind. So Carol said that her town has a Christmas tour. I love that. That's fun. Um, love Kathy Carter hit at the farm company, Elaine Moore. So Elaine, do you live here? Do you live close to Columbiana? Are you in Columbiana? Sandy says hello from Utah. What part of Utah? Um, Cheryl said she already knew how old I was. I've had people ask me before how old I am. Um, Sharon said, yes, the Magnolia Magician. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can do anything with Magnolia and um, a little cedar. Martha says, do you still teach? Yes. So I get to dress up, you know, in a costume every day. Um, if you guys ever want to, you could go to MissAnnie.com. Uh, I just have a website. I don't have a Facebook. I don't have an Instagram for my school stuff. But if you go to MissAnnie.com, um, you can see all the things that I do and see my schedule and all my costumes and all the programs. Um, so I don't know when I'll ever give that up. It is like so much fun. Um, I know at some point I need to. Daryl has asked me to kind of, I work every day. And so this year, I'm gonna take some Mondays off. I talked about that, I think last night, that I'm gonna take some Mondays off so I can really go to the doctor when I need to and also um, be able to make some cooking videos, you guys, because I haven't made any in a week. <laughs> We've just been busy with this. Um, you should be very proud of how good you look, Miss Annie. Well, thank you. Um, I do I do color my hair too. So, olive ole and a little hair color. I don't think y'all see my comments. That's Pat. Hey, Pat, I just saw your comments. <laughs> I'll try to look for that. 
Uh, Madison, Indiana has a wonderful tour of homes at Christmas, 10 to 15 a year. Wow. Wow, that's awesome. We have a daughter named Madison. She's the sweetest. You know, somebody asked, where is Columbiana? Columbiana is in about the center of the state of Alabama. So we're due south of Birmingham, mm -hmm. uh, 30, 35, maybe 40 miles due south. Yeah. Right in the middle of the state. And it is the county seat for Shelby County. So we have some really beautiful buildings. We have the courthouse right here. It's just the sweetest little place. Um, some of us don't know what you do. So Brenda, um, so Daryl is a network engineer. He works in IT for Blue Cross Blue Shield. And then I teach science in about 35 different schools. I'm like the fun science teacher that gets to come and do all the fun stuff. Uh, Minerva says, I retired after 36 years of teaching. It was great, but it was time. Yes. It was time for you to retire, right? At 38 years, good for you. Uh, Sue says she has a granddaughter named Madison, right? So sweet. Our Madison is precious, isn't she? She is, she's such a wonderful girl. And listen, so we are the parents of three daughters, Shannon, Ashley, and Madison, and they were such a joy to raise. So sweet, and we have nine grandchildren, seven grandsons, and two granddaughters. Let's see, thank you for telling me where you live. I'm on the west coast of Canada in British Columbiana. Did you go through, go through the house already? I'm just getting on. We did, you'll have to go back and, and look, watch the replay. I miss your cooking videos, <laughs> I know. I'm gonna get on it. I just have been running out of time. Like I was thinking, anyway, it's, it's this is a lot more than what we expected it to be but i promise i'm going to get on making those cooking videos um hey daryl can i get a discount on my insurance premium <laughs> <laughs> right i don't know how to do that i <laughs> i can fix your computer if you work there and that's about it <laughs> that's right um hi annie from wisconsin i baked on your behalf today and made your pumpkin bread you did and it was delicious oh it's such a good recipe is your house close to your office? Actually, the, um, so Daryl, are you talking about Daryl's office that he goes into work? Probably, since you work out of the house, your office is right here. Well, but we have the Helena office. Oh, your, oh, Miss Annie's, yeah, home and kitchen office. Yeah. So that's, I don't know. How so we're about, that? we're about, I've timed it. We're about 25 minutes from uh, the Miss Annie office that I share with uh, Mama Sue, and you're probably how far from your office, honey? From here, it's going to be about 30 minutes. Yeah, about 30 minutes. Yeah. Um, Kathy says she worked with special needs children. That is, I love that. So sweet. Teresa says, I have seven grandsons in between two granddaughters who are oldest and youngest. Oh, okay, that's right. kind of sweet. Neat. So our granddaughters are Sadie, who is turning eight, and Piper, who is 10. You guys see a lot of Piper because she lives the closest to us. And when those, those two get together, oh, they love each other. They love each other. Okay, Anna says, I've made your pumpkin bread several times. So you guys, I don't know how many of you um, have my pumpkin bread recipe or not, but if you don't have it, if you just go to MissAnnie'sHomeAndKitchen.com, if you just go to our website, you can type in the, you know, you can go to recipes and type in pumpkin bread and get that recipe. Also, um, the Volume One Cookbook and the the uh, Celebrate Cookbook, which guys, we have reordered all three of the cookbooks and we hope they will be coming in in the next couple of weeks. We'll let you know, but that volume two, we've been out of, completely out of for a while, and we've reordered them, so just letting you know that. But volume one and volume two have the pumpkin bread recipe in it that I'm so famous for. So how do you make it through Alabaster in 30 minutes to get to Blue Cross Blue Shield? I leave really, really early. I get up at five and I'm on the road by 5.30 and I'm at my desk by six. Yeah. So uh, that's how I do it. I, 
I, yeah. yeah, that traffic can be a mess if I waited around, so. Yes. So someone said, are the grands coming this summer? Yes, they are. The um, July 17th, I think, is when everybody's coming for a couple of weeks. And so everyone, we are all so excited. Those cousins cannot wait to see each other. I was FaceTiming with our Utah grands yesterday, and they they have their bathing suits. <laughs> they love yeah. the Columbiana pool here. So um, anyway, they're ready. And someone just said, yes, I need volume two. So we will for sure let you guys know when volume two is here. Cause it, like we said, it, we sold out of it and it's just been so expensive to print because every page, every picture was a color. And we did not realize that when we um, printed it, how expensive it would be. So we, we bit the bullet and we have bought some and anyway, so we, we listened to you guys because so many of you guys have asked about that. I'm sorry, I, I missed, was it Evelyn? Evelyn, was it your grandsons that went to Clemson? Yeah, it's Evelyn. <gasps> they went to a football camp football today. Football camp at, you know, that's, I, I've told the story, I went to a football camp uh, at Florida State uh, between my junior and senior year and got to listen to Bobby Bowden. I think it was his second year of having high schoolers come in. That's how long ago. That was uh, a long time ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, it was a minute ago. But how fun for that them to be to around cool. Dabo Sweeney. Um, we actually, he was pumping gas one day because he has um, he has family that live here in Alabama. Yeah, so. he's from Pelham, I believe. Yeah, I think yeah. that's right, from Pelham, which Just is- Just up the road, not, not too far. far. Um, Sandra, or Sandra said, I ordered the bundle awesome and i can do hard things shirt on sunday awesome thank you so much when does daryl's cookbook come out so that is the dump cooking cookbook and it is already available and you can order that at miss annie's home and kitchen .com. you sure can i'd like to see another recipe from the dump king yeah so they I got to get busy is what you're saying. Mm -hmm. All right. It's time. We got to get yeah. back in that kitchen. Um, my nephew played soccer at Clemson. Wow. Oh, that's fun. That's awesome. We have a really good friend that her daughter, uh, Road Ro Crew. Uh, I, don't, I don't know the terminology. Is it? She was on the crew team, so she rowed. Is that right? <laughs> she was on the rowing team? Rowing team. It's called crew, though. Is it? Yeah. I don't even know. Uh, okay. So. Um, have you ever driven through West Virginia? Have we? I don't know my, I know sort of where all the states are. May have touched it. I know I've been to Charlottesville, Virginia. I don't know that I've been into West Virginia. I, I don't. So Debbie said she didn't even know that, Daryl Paul. Didn't know that I went to a football camp, Florida State, between my junior and senior year. It was awesome. Well, Debbie, I, you had left home, and were you married? I have no idea. But I think she was. Yeah. yeah. Um, Sharon, okay, so Kathy says, Sharon Rose Pridemore, you are absolutely correct. It is the best. So what did Sharon say? Because, listen, you guys, these comments go by way too fast. They do. We cannot see this. We see about 1 in 10, maybe. Yeah, when you guys are writing them, we can't see them. Okay, so I've gone way back. Sharon, I don't know what oh, you said. Oh, just passed a Sharon. I don't know I if did? it was her right there. Oh, Camp Grand. Yeah. Yes, Camp Grand. We love Camp Grand. It is super fun. Anna, wiggle, wiggle, war eagle, huh? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to tell you guys one of the things that we love about Camp Grand the most. Um, a lot of people have said, and I, I get it. You know, because we'll have our grands for for sure a week, if not sometimes two weeks, without parents, and um, because you know moms and dads have jobs, and we like for them to be able to spend time on their own together, also. And not everybody can do that, and I totally get the overnight thing. Um, but we've done that because 
I grew up around my cousins and I really wanted our grandchildren to know each other as cousins. And so having a Camp Grand, because everybody has lived in these different states, it has really helped them to get to know each other and also us to get to know them really well. And then when we go visit, it isn't that awkward kind of relationship. It's really been really special. So I get it if some of you are like, that's a lot, because it is a lot, but we've just, we've done it because everybody has lived in these different states and we wanted them to be close to each other. So anyway, I just thought I would share that with you guys and you'll be seeing like mid-July, we'll, we will be doing a lot with Camp Grand. Um, Evelyn said the upstairs will be amazing for the Grands. Yes, it will. I'm actually gonna start painting next week upstairs now that all the insulation is finished um, and getting that area ready for our family to come. I can work up there um, and get that ready. Suzanne says, I have wonderful memories of staying a week or more every summer with my grandparents. That's wonderful. I know. And that's what we hope for. Yeah. And I lived around my grandparents, my grandma and grandpa Ames. And um, it was, and I actually spent the night at their house all the time because I have an aunt that's a year older than me. And it was nice to get to know. I mean, I just knew them so well. It was really sweet. Uh, Paula says, how many rooms are upstairs? So there's a full bath, there's a bedroom, and there's like a little sitting area that we also could have even a set of bunk beds in. Um, Daryl should have played football, a tall guy. He also, so we played basketball and football. Um, Alice says, what vitamins do you take? You have so much energy. <laughs> Listen, so I come from a long line of people. My grandpa Ames, he was an energizer bunny. My mom is like that. So I think I just, it just comes, it's just who I am. It's in my DNA. All right. Um, Vanessa is asking, does it have a basement? We do not have a basement. Grandparents like you are golden. Well, we just try to love on our grands and you know, it comes back to us tenfold. So, um, I just retired and I'm starting a Grammy camp this year with my three grands. That's wonderful. Jamie, you'll have to tell us how that goes. Oh my gosh, you'll have to tell me all about it. Uh, Norma says we have a, fa a page on Facebook called Last Name Family Reunion. That way we can all go there and talk. I love that. So what you're saying is you have like a family Facebook page because that would be, that's precious. Um, could you please send me some of your energy? <laughs> That's funny. Um, we went to Alabama almost every summer for a couple of weeks to spend time with cousins. Yes, and the old tractor of my great uncle. So much fun. Yes. Okay, everybody. Daryl and I said we were gonna try to go on a date tonight. We love the Tuesday night movies because it's like half price. And so we thought we would do a live early so we could go on our date. You know, last week we went to Lionel Richie. Can you believe that was a week ago? Golly. That was so much fun, y'all. If he comes to your town, you have to go. I'm still singing some of his songs. So. Yeah, so Babs is saying being on the front porch, ooh, we've got an ambulance going by. Let's see, being on the front porch and it's raining. Sounds good, doesn't yeah. it, y'all? And the breeze is cool, it feels, it feels wonderful. It feels so good. Yeah. Um, all right, so anyway, we're gonna go on our date. We're gonna go maybe to the movies. And um, like we said, we try to do that every Tuesday. We haven't done it in a while, but last week we went to Lionel yeah. and he was amazing, so. You guys, thanks so much for joining with us and just walking through our house with us and being part of this journey. Uh, we will be back tomorrow night, or will we? You're going to head off to church. We might, 
Daryl help. He he does a lot with the youth on Wednesday nights, and so um, it just I might do a live. We're not sure what we're going to do tomorrow. We'll yeah. keep you guys posted. We'll let you guys know what we're going to do. Um, one of the really, Corley Ellis, who is amazing here in town, he messaged me and said, hey, I've got some old doors in my barn. Let's look at them. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. I might take you guys along. That might be kind of fun. So anyway. We love y'all. Thanks so much for joining. You are the best, and we're going to remind you to be stronger every day. Know that you can do hard things, and we will see you guys tomorrow. You guys have a great night. Sleep tight. Bye. Bye-bye.